Hello and welcome back. Today I'm reviewing this five piece 30 gram wire sponge for cleaning solder tips. If you are looking at this on Amazon and the video quality is absolute crap and you want to know what this actually looks like, just head over to YouTube. It's SolderJS. You can search for wire sponge and you'll find this review. So these, I bought these because they're far less expensive. This is about nine bucks. And what, what these are a replacement for is this guy. So if you're, if you're still using this guy, you probably want to upgrade to this guy here. The, the Hako 599B is the, the, the gold standard for solder cleaning, I guess. So we're going to open up this. First of all, what I want to know is, are they actually 30 grams? Is it, is it the truth or a lie? Before we do anything else, let's just get out the old kitchen scale here. All right, I've got it set to grams. So with the plastic wrapper, it weighs in at 29 grams. So that's not quite 30. I don't know if I need my money back, but that's 29 is not 30 guys. If we're going to, if we're going to be using grams, which is a real unit of measurement, we ought to get it right. Huh? Okay. And oh, without the plastic, it, okay. 29, still 29 without the plastic. All right. I'm happy enough. Now let's compare that to the Hako 599B. There's a couple others out there, but let's go ahead and see what this is like. And, and this is why I need to replace it because uh, it's gotten to the point where I, when I put my tip in, um, it's not clean very much because there's so much solder in here. So I really need to get one of these. So this one, it seems to open best this way. Like as I turn this way, it opens. Um, and then I've already, I've already dumped out most of the solder beads out of here, but I've, I've got my, my heat proof mat underneath, but I didn't want to get all of the, the, the solder dust on it and then have to clean it again. Cause I like to, to keep it clean. So my workspace is clean anyway. So I got that there. Let's take a look at this one. I'm going to put another, I'm going to put a paper towel on the kitchen scale. Cause I actually don't want to get solder dust on the kitchen scale. We use this for apples and whatnot, or maybe not apples. I don't know what we use it for, but we use it for something. So I'll zero it out again. Okay. And then let's put this on the scale and see what the original is in terms of weight. Oh. Okay. So the original is 40 grams. Now granted there's some lead in there now. So, you know, this probably weighs a little bit more than it actually uh, did new, but I'd say that these still fall a little short. So that said, let's get the scale out of the way. Let's not put that with the scale. And then next step, I'm going to turn on my iron, get it up to 300 degrees. That's the temperature I like to work with. So I'm going to, ah, oh, there we are. Okay. So that's set to 300. It'll warm up in a second. We'll see how this performs. So while that's getting up to temp, I'll go ahead and fluff this because if I just put this in as is, it's just too loose. And it'll just, it just moves around too much for my liking. I like it to be a little steady. I like to feel like I'm, I'm doing some amount of work. So it, it stretches really good in the one direction, not so good in the other direction. Let's see if I, oh, there we go. Let's see if I can get this, uh, nice. Uh, eh, whatever. I'll stretch it out a little bit so it'll have some tension. We did the stretch test on the other one. We ought to do it on this one, right? This one's already pretty beat up. It's, it's done all the stretching it can do, but it seems to have stretched pretty uniformly. So props for that. That may just be a result of, of, uh, having, you know, soldered so uniformly. And yeah, I mean, we've got, look, okay. Some of those extra grams are right there for sure. Yeah. But, uh, Oh, well, look, some of the extra grams are, are now there. Yeah. Maybe, maybe I should just like put this in the reflow oven and, and, uh, and, and reuse it. No, I'm not going to do that. And then what I've been told is that it'll actually work better. I got that this is 25 feet of Kimwick. This was like, I don't know if this is still available. It was, I think one of the last. And so it was a little cheaper, but I got 25 feet of it. And I was told that if you use the solder wick, uh, to get off if there's a lot of excess if you just you know tap on here and get a little bit of the excess off that way then you can preserve the life of this ball a little bit more and that's slightly more expensive and you don't want to get big globs in there so if you got a big glob on the end do that instead now let's see i'm going to have to change the focus here manual focus for a second 
All right, there we go. So you can see this tip is not doing so hot right now. It's a little nasty. So this is perfect just to see how this performs. I just like to move around a little bit there. And then let's bring this back up. That's a lot shinier, a lot nicer. So I would say that this stuff does its job. There's still a little bit of a tip there that isn't quite clean like I'd like it to be. Let me try a little more. All right, looking, looking a little bit better now. All right, that's good. And let's see how well it wicks. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go against what I just said and I'm gonna put a nice blob of solder on there. Here's my thick blob solder. Oh, I need to get this back on autofocus maybe. Doot. There we go. So now this can focus again. So nice, bit. <laughs> and then I pull it up close where, <laughs> where it won't autofocus. There we go. All right, nice big blob. Let's see if I can just blow that out of the way a little bit and then see how well it cleans it up. It does what it's supposed to do. So, huzzah. No complaints. Other, other than that, I do have to say I would like it if it was a little more weighty because it feels a little, a little light and a little loose in there, but I don't, I don't think that's a real problem. Uh, next, just because it's here, I'm gonna go ahead and pull out this flux wax that came with it. I don't really care too much about this, but it is uh, high intensity joint, good immersion, neutral PF, or no, not PF, I can't read, PH7, non-toxic, no corrosion, good insulation, blah, 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 blah. I don't know, do I need to twist it? Oh, it twists a little. It seems to be coming off. Oh, what is that? That's kind of a weird look. Huh, how about that? Looks, uh, I, haven't, I haven't seen one that, that uh, forms like that as a solid before. So that's interesting. And just, just, for, just for kicks, let's go ahead and maybe I can grab some, ah, you know what I'll do? Here's some solder wick that does not have flux on it already. So this is your cheapo wick. Let me see if I can just dip that in there. Okay, goes in nice and smooth. It's got a nice glob on there. That's the consistency of it. And then, uh, let's see, where'd, we'll just, we'll just do this on the paper towel here. It's gonna be fine. And then, uh, oh, we need to, we need to refocus, refocus. And then my, my finger's going to get hot there. But let's see how that works. I guess there's not a lot of extra solder to get off there. Maybe I'll put a little more solder on so we can test it better. But yeah, it seems, it seems to do the business, as we say, in the electronics world on the interwebs. All right, now I've got a nice big blob there. Let's see if it helps it soak it up. Now, of course, you know, the wick itself plays part in this. It's not entirely the flux. But without, without the flux, if we try without the flux, oh, it's terrible. It, it just, it's not, you can't, maybe you can't see, maybe you can, but it won't take stuff off. With the flux, it'll take stuff off. So the flux does what I expect flux to do, which is make it easier for solder to move from one hot element to another. So bravo, flux works for me well enough. That's all I care about. So there you have it, uh, you know, five balls, 10 bucks. I think that's a good deal, you know, considering, considering your alternative of, of basically, I think you know, it's been like seven bucks for one. That's this nice, big, huge one. Now it is nice and big and huge, but uh, you know, I'll take these these 28, 29 gram balls um, for 10 bucks, and I think I'll call that good. So I say success. If that was, uh, you know, if, if this was if this was good for you, if it helped you out, if it helped you make a decision, please 
Uh, give a thumbs up if you want more videos like this. Go ahead and subscribe. I'll be here all week. And, uh, you know, don't forget to troll me in the comments below. I, I always like a good troll. So have a good one.